Here we're gonna find the value of a viewer suggested limit. And the limit we're gonna look at is the limit as n goes to infinity of n plus the natural log of a over n to the power n over b. And here we want a and b both to be positive real numbers. So I haven't written that, but um, that's what we're gonna assume in this case. So we're gonna use two main tools. So the first tool would be like a homework problem in a real analysis class, or maybe something that's presented during class. I'm currently building a real analysis playlist if you wanna check for proofs of stuff like this, although we will not include the proof here. So it says that if f of x is a continuous function, and xn is a sequence of real numbers that approaches a as n approaches infinity, then the limit as n goes to infinity of f evaluated at x sub n is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x. And this is actually a really important tool because over here on the left hand side, we're talking about the limit of a sequence of numbers. But over here on the right hand side, we're talking about the limit of a function. And this result is often used to transform form limits of functions into limits of sequences and vice versa. And then the second tool that we're going to use is L'Hopital's rule, like you would learn in a Calculus 2 class or something. Um, and again, we're not gonna do the proof, but a proof for L'Hopital's rule will at some point be in the real analysis playbook. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, look at this. So the first thing that I wanna do is set this limit e equal to L. And the big hint for why to do that is because as n approaches infinity here, the interior of these parentheses approaches the number one. So that's pretty easy to see because that's just a rational function. Recall that natural log of a is a constant in this case. And then as n approaches infinity in this exponent, we have um, infinity because again, b is just a constant and those are both positive real numbers. So we have an indeterminate form of type one to the infinity. And generally the strategy here is you set this limit equal to L and then you take the natural log of both sides. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So here we'll take the natural log of both sides of this. So the natural log of L is going to be equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of the natural log of the argument of this limit, but using logarithm rules, we can bring this exponent down. So we have n over b, and then the natural log of, so I'm gonna simplify this a little bit because notice we have an n over n, and that's gonna give us one plus the natural log of a over n. And now we wanna quickly check that we still have an indeterminate form and what type of indeterminate form we have. So notice as n approaches infinity, well obviously n over a still approaches infinity, then this stuff inside the parentheses approaches one, but the natural log of one is zero. So this is still an indeterminate form and it is of type infinity times zero. And let's recall that the strategy for indeterminate forms of type infinity times zero is to turn one of these into the other. In other words, we wanna write this as zero over zero or infinity over infinity. But before we do that, I wanna make a change of variable. So this is a little bit simpler. And here I'm using this first tool. So what we wanna do is set X equal to one over N. In other words, we've got a sequence xn, and our sequence there is xn equals one over n. So there we've got like xn is approaching zero as n is approaching infinity. And that's gonna change this to the limit as x approaches zero. And we might as well point out that this is zero from above, although that doesn't really matter in our setup. And now here we will have the natural log of one plus X times the natural log of A. And that's from the fact that X equals one over N. And now this N over B will turn into a B times X in the denominator. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and notice that we have an indeterminate form and it's a new type of indeterminate form. As X approaches zero from above, the numerator is approaching natural log of one, which is zero. The denominator is approaching zero. So this is of type zero over zero, which is good because now we can directly use L'Hopital's rule. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I will point out that we're using L'Hopital's rule. 
So that means I need to take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. So the derivative of the numerator will be one over one plus x times the natural log of a times the natural log of a. So like I said, that is just the derivative of the numerator and maybe we'll talk our way through that. We use the chain rule here. So the derivative of a natural logarithm sends the argument to the denominator. And by the chain rule, we have to take the derivative of the argument. So here we sent the argument to the denominator times the derivative of the argument. Now here we're just gonna go ahead and divide this by the derivative of bx. That's what L'Hopital's rule tells us to do and that will be just b. Okay, so now let's maybe clean this up a little bit so it's easier to see what's going on. So this is gonna be the limit as x approaches zero of, I'm gonna write this as the natural log of a over b those are like our constants, we're putting those out front, and then times one over one plus x times the natural log of a. But now we've got a nice continuous function there, so we can just plug in the value x equals zero, and if we plug in the value x equals zero, we'll see that this part tends off towards one. We have one over one plus zero. So in other words, in the end, we have one over b times the natural log of a, but since the left-hand side is all inside of a natural log, maybe we should write the right-hand side all inside of a natural log. We can use logarithm rules to write that as the natural log of the a to the one over b. Great, but now we have the natural log of l equals the natural log of a to the one over b, which tells us that the limit is equal to a to the one over b. And that's a good place to stop.